One of the worst accidents in history took place on April 26, 1986. The nuclear reactor exploded at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in Ukraine. To give you some background, this is how a nuclear power plant works. A reactor emits radiation. The radiation heats the water. The steam then turns the turbine and its generator produces electricity. The nuclear reactor itself is generally just a big kettle filled with water, with the rods mounted in it. One of the types of rods is the fuel rod, which contains fissile elements that heat up enormously. Another type is the control rod, which slows down the nuclear reaction. The latter rod can be moved up and down in the reactor core. This is how the temperature is controlled. The Chernobyl engineers planned a test. They wanted to figure out what would happen to the turbine if the reactor was shut down very slowly. So on that fateful day they gradually dropped the temperature of the reactor until it fell to the lowest level and then the reactor almost came to a halt. To save the day, control rods were moved out of the reactor core. Then the fission mounted and the reactor was operational within a couple of minutes. Then the experiment began. Pumps that were circulating water through the reactor were disconnected from the grid and plugged into the generator of the turbine that was revolving thanks to those very pumps. So. Could the generator of the turbine that was being shut down produce enough electricity for the pumps? It turns out the answer was no. The core started to heat up uncontrollably to an unfathomable level. In 34 seconds the staff had to abort the test by activating the reactor's emergency shutdown system. All the control rods were being injected into the reactor core at once and the nuclear fission had to stop right there. But the tip of the control rod was made of a material that produced a short burst of radiation before slowing it down. So this is what happened. Control rods started the motion into the reactor core, and in a split second the temperature of the overheated reactor reached at an unimaginable level. This led to the core exploding. The reactor was completely destroyed and the nuclear fuel was released into the environment. This degree of radiation has not been seen on Earth since the Big Bang and nothing could be done about it really. With radiation levels like this the air itself conducts electricity just like a wire and any living creature dies before it even falls to the ground. Radioactive fallout drifted all across the globe. Thousands of square kilometers around the Chernobyl nuclear power plant were contaminated to such an extent that they were pretty much forever lost to humanity. It is believed that health issues related to the accident claimed the lives of hundreds of thousands of people. Recovery from the Chernobyl nuclear disaster continues to this day.